it's Friday, it's raining, and I'm busy. So, it's been two weeks since we last talked on the YouTubes, and a lot's happened. Last week, my roommate was trying out for one of the hip-hop groups on campus called AFX, and it's freaking huge. Like, they have a bunch of different teams and groups, and over 500 people auditioned this time. But basically, she was going over to the audition, and she was like, oh, you want to come along? And I was like, sure, why not? So I just kind of, on a whim, auditioned for AFX, a hip-hop group, and that was three hours of dancing. Now, go to the Friday after that, you know, I'm in the swing dancing decal, so I was dancing there for like two hours. From a friend I made through the decal, I learned about a swing dancing group that was having auditions the next morning, so Saturday morning, I get up at freaking 8.30 and go to these auditions at 9, and okay, I was telling the story to my dad, and he was like, yeah, I, I, I love that you're doing all this stuff, I totally, that's awesome, I get it, but he's like, the one thing I don't understand is how you woke, woke up at 8.30, like, can you tell me that part again? I'm like, you know what, shut up, no. Anyway, so I did that, and that was two hours for the audition. And then after that, there's just like a casual swing dancing on Sproul, which is like the plaza. You've seen it in Ellen's videos. She's shown you more of Berkeley than I have. <laughs> but um, basically, there's like just a free lesson and just free swing dancing at like noon on Saturdays. So two more hours. So already, okay, let me go over this. It was three hours on Thursday, two hours on Friday, and four hours on Saturday. So that's nine hours of dancing in the span of three days. Guys, I danced so much. <laughs> I did so much dancing. No, but wait for it. On Tuesday at a place called The Swing Den, that's a few blocks on campus, I went and did more dancing, and that was kind of insane. Cause like, there were college students there, and people from swing, and then people not from swings, so like outside who were just really good at dancing and swing dancing. And that was kind of an experience because I have just, I've been dancing for like two weeks, yeah? And I have the basic steps down. I learned some more stuff on Saturday that wasn't in the class. But um, basically what happens is for special events, like your first time being there, birthdays, like doing well at a competition and stuff, you're in the middle of something called a jam. So everyone makes a huge circle in the room and then they put all the special event people in the middle. And basically what happens is someone comes and steals you to be your partner and people just keep stealing you from the person before them in the dance. And so you just get passed off around a bunch of people. And I had no idea what was happening. And everyone was like, yeah, Dizzy, go in the middle, go. And I was like, what? And then I was dancing. And then I didn't know that you would get passed out. And suddenly someone just appears. And I'm like, oh, hello. Okay, I'm dancing with you now. And I went from like leading to following to leading like twice. <laughs> it was really fun though. It was, oh, it was such an experience. But yeah, that that was great. I mean, there were some really great leads there. It was, it was so much fun, guys. Swing dancing is so much fun. Yeah, so anyway, I auditioned for those uh, two groups and basically for AFX, like everyone gets in, but it's what level they're gonna place you at is what the audition's for. But for the swing dancing one, they actually like, it's whether you get in or don't get in. And I got into the swing dancing one and I'm so excited. And basically it's just gonna be really fun. We had our first meeting last night and I'm so excited. <laughs> and we're gonna do like crazy lifts and it looks so awesome and it's so much fun. I've already made a bunch of new friends through it and I just love swing dancing so much and I feel so in shape. Yeah, and happy. Like every time I think about swing dancing, I'm so happy, it's so much fun. Like you can't not be happy when like swing dancing anything. Like when you're swing dancing, when you're actually doing it, you're happy. When you're watching it, you're happy. When you're thinking about it, you're happy. It's good, we should all swing dance. It's really nice. I mean, think about it. Like, if high schools taught swing dancing to everyone, how much more awesome would school dances be? Like, really? Come on. Instead of this weird grinding, like, I have, I'm sexually frustrated shit, people would actually bust out their moves and swing dance. It's social dancing, so you can totally talk while you're doing it and do, like, basic steps. And then, if you're really good, you're just awesome, and everyone's like, holy shit, they're amazing, and it's so much fun. <sighs> Guys, I love swing dancing a lot. I'm so happy. <laughs> Another really awesome thing about swing dancing is that like the leads and the follows don't follow like the normal gender role association, or whatever. Cause like swing dancing isn't super like, macho and sultry and all that jazz. Like it's just fun. So it doesn't 
it doesn't really, like the lead and the fall, it makes no sense to have a gender associated with it because they're both super fun to do. And so I applied them to the swing decal as a lead, but I've been learning to follow in other places. Also, it's more convenient because when people, like, well, like when guys ask you to dance at dancing places, it's annoying to be like, oh no, I'm a lead, I'm sorry. Unless they're awesome and they also lead and follow, and then it's amazing. And then you just like bust it out. My life goal, basically, is to be one of those people who lead and follow and has a partner that leads and follows and basically what they do is they have like leading battles where they're dancing and they battle to see who gets the lead and switch off during the song and it's so cool. Ah! Yeah. So that's it. It's good. So basically my goal is to just be an amazing swing dancer from now on and just swing my way into victory and just be super happy and I'm going to swing in like half an hour too but yeah I really want to end on this happy note but I keep remembering that my chem midterm is on Tuesday hmm. maybe I'll just major in swing dancing yeah I think that's a that's a reasonable reasonable plan yeah yeah but anyway yeah when I get back when we get like get back together during a break I'm teaching all of you all of y'all I learned in this shit, okay? Cause like, it's so much fun. And I know Brenna's doing it too, and I know Daniel's doing it too, and so we're gonna swing all the time. So this video is basically just me gushing over swing dancing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should ask a question to all y'all after uh, Morgan's wonderful housing question. So since I like found swing dancing and I think it's really awesome, I was just wondering if you guys were doing anything like extracurricular slash off campus or on campus or basically like not to do with your regular classes or whatever because no one wants to deal with those. Mm -mm. But yeah, so I was just wondering what all you guys were doing outside of your normal schoolwork. Tell me about it. Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> Okay, well, I love you guys a lot. I'll see you guys in two, well, I'll see you guys sooner than two weeks, but you'll see me in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> Bye.